Yeah, that was scary. Holy smoke. Ugh. Here I am just waiting out this storm at a gas station. So when I came out today, it was super sunny. And when I checked the forecast yesterday, there was no rain in the forecast. Thinking I was gonna be, you know, fishing till noon or so. I did catch a few fish drifting for some catfish on cut bluegill. And I noticed it was getting cloudier and cloudier. Then I get a message from Matt, he's like, be careful, there's a there's a storm with 40, 50 mile per hour winds like north northeast of me. And I don't see a lot of storms move southwest. Then I noticed this wall of clouds getting closer and closer. Caught my last fish, then I booked it out of there. And that thing moved fast. It was blowing so hard I couldn't even control the kayak. It kind of pushed me up on some rocks. I had to jump out and pull my kayak up. It wasn't very deep and I was already right next to the boat ramp. Whew, crazy. I'm so glad that guy at the boat ramp was there to help me load. I probably would have been okay. He helped out a lot. So thank you if you ever see this. So yeah, I guess you guys should check out the fishing that led up to this little crazy incident. I think you got a uh, one green sunfish and no, oh, a couple of green sunfish. I think I'm going to use this whole guy here on one of my rods. Gonna hook him on the top of the head here. Same setup I had in my last catfish video. Sinker slide, two ounce sinker snap swivel down to 30 pound mono rattle peg float and a little green sunfish i'm gonna throw this guy behind me on this setup i got dropper loot with the two ounce sinker on the bottom six ounce circle hook rattle i'm gonna hang this guy off the side of the kayak whichever gets a bit more i'll switch over to to that way of fishing the water's gone down a little bit but i caught all my fish in at least 20 feet of water even though there's a slight breeze i'm gonna try to keep my speed under under half a mile an hour uh -huh. oh i just had a hit on this one wait he's, he's on he is on there like oh yeah he's digging Ooh. Oh, he's it's all tangled up. He got lassoed. <laughs> Ooh. Come on, buddy. Let's get you untangled here. This is a decent fish. I'm all wet. <clears throat> Ooh, still feisty. Calm, calm down, dude. Hey, he does not want to give up. This guy is long. <laughs> Super long. Not very fat, but very long fish. I wasn't gonna keep some today, but this guy, I don't know. I like keeping the smaller fish. Let's get him on the tape. Ah, 26 inch fish. Nice. Don't worry, I'm gonna let you go. Nice male. Mail channel. There he goes. Wow, that was cool. That guy hit the suspended bait. Gonna be all tangled up. This is the problem with the dropper. It seems to lasso the fish once in a while. So that suspended one, dragging zero. You got a bite going on over here too. Might be a little guy. Let's uh, let's give it to him. Well, that's dragging one, suspending one. Get 
this out of my way. I don't think this guy's as big. No. Just as feisty though. <laughs> Little male. There we go guys. Two fish back to back. This guy's not as big as the last guy. This is fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back up there, do do another drift, see how it goes. So that's one on the dragging and one on the suspended. I'll just drag two. I was still setting up my other rod. And I'll drag that one and then I'll keep one suspended. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna throw this guy behind me while I rebate, rebate these other two. I was drifting a little too fast. I'm gonna throw this out. For those that don't know, this is a drift sock. So this should slow me down. I was drifting a little bit faster than I wanted to. All right, let's rebate and get back down there. Cut off the tail. Don't really need the tail chunk. Cut off the fins. Cut off a little, little section of that. I was probably okay using the whole thing. I want to make sure when you hook these guys that there's no scales on the on the point. That's how you lose fish. And then when you hook it, you don't want to bury that hook all up in there. See how it's I barely got any skin in there. You want to make sure this gap is exposed. And this one I'm gonna throw it farther back on the left side. <laughs> what? He came off. No way. Ah, man, what a bummer. He came off. I don't know how. saw this guy on the graph oh look at that <laughs> that was cool oh something on the graph and I raised up my bait to him and he hit it he was fighting hard I think it's gonna be a, a decent fish What, there was two? There was two fish on there. Well, there, there wasn't two fish on the hook. I think something had, had my sinker in his mouth. Yeah, that was crazy. Decent female, yeah. Yeah, there was. I saw two fish when I was reeling that up. So that was cool. Nice fish. Let this girl go. There we go. So it seems like the uh, suspending and the drip and the dragging rods are neck and neck. Reel this up. We'll go for another drift. I probably won't go as far as far out. Maybe just go halfway then drift back again and that's why I like circle hooks because you don't have to sit there and wait to set the hook at least with this type of fishing the hook or the fish the fish basically hook themselves man since the freaking wind keeps pushing me sideways my two dragon rats on this side there's there is a fish. Come on. Oh no. It's turning me around. <laughs> oh no. I think we're gonna have a tangle on our hands here. Let this 
back here. Oh no, we're definitely tangled. Can unhook, unhook her first. Circle hook is right where it should be in the corner. Here we go. Four out of five. Yeah, another decent fish. Anyways, I better let her go and get all untangled. What a beauty. Another female. I think the spawn is closely approaching now. I know, I know you want to go. There she goes. Wash, rinse, and repeat. Let's go back up and drift my way back again. I want this one to be closer. Since the rod tip's going to be lower. Oh, there's a bite up there. Come on, just take it. I think we'll just give it to him. Yep, there he is. Come on. Oh no, don't get tangled here. Reel this guy up. Come on, you're coming this way. Come on. Ooh, here we go. It's not a bad fish. Right in the corner of the mouth again. Sorry, we gotta turn you guys around here. Another decent fish. Say hello, girl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, catfish are slimy. <laughs> yes, thank you, fish. Thank you. Maybe a little bit smaller, and I'll keep you. There she goes. Oh, that's a bite. That is a bite. Oh yeah. Man, I'm kind of scared of those clouds up there. So much for no storms today. Come on, man. That one really hit it. Yeah, I think that storm's moving towards me. I had to call it quits. Circle hook did his job. Corner of the mouth. Here we go. Yep, I think I'm gonna have to get out of here. I'm gonna keep this one fish. But I think I'm gonna have to get out of here. That storm system's moving in. Ah, it's a bummer. I didn't think it was supposed to rain today. That alone got this big wall of dark clouds coming. Well guys, looks like I'm gonna have to cut this video short uh, Because if you look back there Yeah, that's a scary wall of clouds and it's coming this way and Matt just texted me that there might be some hail involved Weird storms never come in from that direction. Usually they come in from the west Yeah, it's looking real scary. Uh, but Today was fun. I caught I want to say six catfish lost one Last time I checked, there wasn't any rain in the forecast, and now it's going to be a straight-up severe storm. With that said, I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully, I don't get wet on my way out. I really wanted to be out here all day, or at least for at least a couple more hours. But what do you do? I ain't trying to mess around with that. You guys know the old drill. 
like the video subscribe and i'll see you guys later